Hey nerds, welcome back to Nerd News. I'm Stay Daniel. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Halloween movie. In preparation for the return of Michael Myers, I decided to watch the original Halloween movie for the very first time. The movie does not hold up well to today's standards. In the 70s, I'm sure it was terrifying, but it takes a while for anything to happen. But in the movie, it's nonstop action. Today's Halloween movie, it's nonstop action. Every scene of the movie left me with a chill down my spine and a new appreciation for the original film. Now, I don't want anyone to think that I hate the original film. It is an amazing film with great shots, great scores, but by today's standards, it's just not scary. And compared to this one, it is not scary whatsoever. This new Halloween movie is practically a shot-for-shot remake of the original with key differences to, t- to make it its own movie. After 40 years of waiting, Michael Myers returns to Haddonfield to finish what he started 40 years earlier. Michael is not the only one that has been preparing for Halloween night again. Laurie Strode has been trained for the inevitable return of the Boogeyman. Laurie Strode has been traumatized from the ho- Halloween night 40 years prior. She had stocked her house with traps, weapons, and cages to stop Michael. Survival has been the first thing since... That night, and because of it, she will have an an unhealthy relationship with her daughter because of this. There are some interesting similarities between Laurie and Michael in this movie that are just super interesting to point out. Both characters have been preparing for this night for 40 years. Both characters want to kill each other, and Laurie was put into some iconic shots that Michael was put in into the original movie. It seems like Laurie had to become a monster to defeat a monster. This movie really blurs the line between the two characters, which is super interesting to look at if you really think about it. Laurie's granddaughter, Allison, brings that high school element in this movie to mimic the original. It's interesting to see the similarities and differences between her and her grandmother and her mother, which is Laurie Strode's daughter. I didn't think Allison's role was huge, but enjoyable with to see her relationship with her grandmother. And no spoilers, but there is an end thing that kind of does, I don't want to say sees her future, but kind of hints at where she's kind of going and maybe another movie. This movie is also more comedic than expected. One of the younger characters in this movie shines and stands out in every scene that he's in. And it's just really funny to see some characters fall and hit their heads. I don't know if that's what they intended, but sometimes seeing someone crawl away from Michael, then hit their head on a toilet is very funny. Overall, this movie is a perfect continuation of the story for the modern day. There were a lot of interesting storylines that I hope gets more spotlight in the sequel. The comedic element just helped the movie and made it more exciting in the end. I have to give this movie a 8.9 for its great storylines and comedic element. Now, there were some great shots in this movie, but the original score and there were better shots in the original movie. That's not why I'm taking points off this movie. But it kind of just kind of lost what made the original a little bit special, which it was kind of disappointing. But this is its own movie, and I consider it its own movie, while the two are very similar in its own right. That's my review. If you did see the movie, comment down below. I know I'm putting this movie uh, out a little late, but it's been a long week. And next week, I'm going to roll down Comic-Con once again, so get hyped for that. And a video will be coming out very shortly for that, too. So, anyway, remember to like, share, and subscribe. This is Nerd News. Sign off.